Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nikita here and today we are going to learn the mnemonic for the enzyme deficiency, the most important, the confusing ones like we see in this question. Enzyme deficient in Gaucher's disease. Now, Gaucher's disease is something which is very, very important for the exam, be it need PG, INICT or FMG. So what is the enzyme deficient? Is it alpha glucosidase, beta glucosidase, alpha galactosidase or beta galactosidase? So an easy trick to remember this is when we write Gaucher's disease, it has U in its spelling. So U is present in glucose, not in galactose. Galactose is all AA. So glucosidase is the enzyme deficient. Now, whether it is alpha or it is beta, it is beta galactosidase, which is the enzyme deficient. So remember, gauchos coming in children. So it is beta, okay, beta glucosidase. It is beta glucosidase, which is deficient. What are the other features of Gaucher's disease? It is basically sphingolipidosis. Gauchers, remember, ouch, ouch. In the spelling, we have ouch, ouch. So the patient does a lot of ouch, ouch. That means the patient has a lot of pain and that is bone pain, right? There is bone pain. And we see the appearance that is crumpled or wrinkled tissue paper appearance. The appearance seen is crumpled or wrinkled tissue paper. So imagine a beta, a patient crying with pain and you give tissue paper to wipe the tears. So that is crumpled or wrinkled tissue paper appearance. What is the appearance of femur that we see? So femur has a flask shaped appearance. There is distal flaring of the metaphysis that is called as Erlenmeyer flask deformity. Like we see here, like a flask, there is this flaring of the metaphysis. This is called as Erlenmeyer flask deformity. Okay, Erlenmeyer flask deformity. And this is where we see the crumpled or wrinkled tissue paper appearance. So remember that is about gauchos. Now let us see the other enzymes here. Alpha glucosidase is deficient in Pompe's disease, glycogen storage disorder type 2. Alpha galactosidase, beta galactosidase. One is deficient in crabs, one is deficient in Fabry's, which is that Fabry's versus crabs disease. Crabs has double B in its spelling. So it is double B. It is beta AA that is galactosidase AA. Fabry's has only one B. So it is not beta. So it is alpha and A that is alpha galactosidase. So alpha galactosidase is deficient in Fabry's. Beta galactosidase is deficient in crabs. Beta glucosidase is gauchos and alpha glucosidase is Pompe's disease. This is just a sneak peek into the entire biochemistry revision that we are doing for the upcoming FMG exam. We had part one today in the morning itself. We will have the rest of it where we are going to discuss a lot of uh, important short short topics in biochemistry for upcoming FMG and NEET PG exam. So the session is going to be on the Unacademy app and it's a free life class, so all of you can join for the same without any extra cost. Uh, the link is there in the description. Please enroll for the session. If asked for a code to join the class, you can use the code Dr. Nikita Live. Okay, that is Dr. Nikita Live is the code. And at the same time, I'm also running a FMG crash course, short shot 150, the most expected topics in the upcoming FMG exam. It's every day 10 a.m. We have started from yesterday. And it's a free live classes. So all of you are welcome for the same. Use code Dr. Nikita Life to join the same. I'll be sharing the links on the Telegram group. My Telegram group is Dr. Nikita's Rad Synapse. The link for the same is also in the description. So you'll find the link for the free classes and also for the Telegram group in the description of this video. So hoping to see you there on the Unacademy app today at 9.30 p.m. for biochemistry, mnemonics, tips and tricks that will definitely come in the upcoming exams. Thank you so much. Keep studying, keep revising, and keep winning. Thank you.